gosh, I'm scared. Woo. Well, we're not gonna get into that. Are you guys ready for it? Welcome back to my channel. You guys know what we're doing here, right? Okay. I dropped 100 strangers in complete darkness. I literally have been waiting so long to make this video. I am so excited to bring you this. Okay, let's get right on into it, you guys. I don't wanna waste any time. Did you know that 64% of people are scared of the dark? Are you scared of the dark? I'm scared of the dark. I'm scared of what's in the dark. Well, today I'm gonna be trapping 100 people in complete darkness. <laughs> Sounds pretty scary, huh? <laughs> Definitely, I don't think it was as scary as it sounded. The actual screams weren't really like that intense. <laughs> that sounded like murder. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my room, okay. All right, guys, let's bring him in. Oh my gosh, let's go. <laughs> They're so excited, I love it. I think we were nervous and they were just really excited. Sucks that we didn't get to see their excitement. So many of them. Boys and girls, how are we feeling this fine evening? Yeah, let's go. They have absolutely no clue what's about to happen. Now, the reason that all these people are dressed up like- Oh, that's me. I was putting on chapstick, oh my gosh. This is because I actually have a job opening at ARAC. But a job at ARAC requires character. There's a quote that says, the true test of a person's character is what they do when no one's watching. But I'll be watching. That was creepy the way you said that. Hey, um, do you guys like dark by chance? Oh my God, it looks like I was waving, but it was actually Leo waving. <laughs> Oh, you see how scared everybody looks? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Today I have a series of challenges dedicated to helping me find Look at everybody in this running. Room worthy of the job. So for the first challenge, I have my friend Mac inside the room with night vision goggles on. And the first 50 people to hand him a resume will move on to the next phase of the interview. For the first challenge, you guys must hand deliver your resume to one of my hands. Okay, so this particular challenge, like at first, we just all tackled Mac. Benjamin. What? All right, spotlight on. Three, two, one, run. Hand your resume to Mac. Hand your resume to Mac. Fall that off. Where's Mac? All you can hear is like the trampling noises. Do we have eyes on him? Oh, right there. He's, right there. Right there. He's sneaking. Hey, pal. You're looking for a job? Help me. Who wants a job? Slow down, slow down. Oh, he's getting destroyed. Oh, Mac, run. Getting mobbed. Run, run, run. Mac run. needs to get out of there. Oh, Mac no. needs to get out of there. Run, oh, he's, run. Running. he's running after him. I don't remember it like this because it's all point of view moments where I didn't know what was going on in the room. Marco! Oh, he was so close! Dude, they're right next to Mac. All right, here's your hint. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Polo! <laughs> oh my god. Everybody was playing Marco Polo with Mac. <laughs> Who is it? He said, Polo! I was literally right there. Yes! She's so happy. You got it, you got it, good job. I like hugged him. Look at me hugging him. <laughs> I ran off quick and I was like dodging people. I could not see his face at all. It was so funny. I looked so funny. I was doing the chicken dance. That guy's frozen. They all think they're in privacy right now because they're in the dark. But unfortunately, I have 4K infrared cameras filming from every direction. I think the voting period's closed, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cannot tell you how funny it is to know what was really happening in the dark because I didn't know these people were dancing like that. Damn, look at all those resumes. So funny. Oh my god. Bro, people are still looking for you in this room. That guy is backing on his knees again. Oh my god. Alright, guys. Oh. How we feeling? <laughs> I do have the top 50 resumes in my hand right now. The names that I'm calling could either be eliminated or be moving on to the next round. Jason A. Step into the spotlight. Dylan Caracos. Teddy Moore. This moment was very nerve wracking. You kind of felt like you were gonna get called, but you weren't really too sure. And I was like very last called, like almost towards the end. Martin. Noosh. Matthew. Kyle. Calvin. Dolev. Jessica. For everybody who's still in the circle. You guys are officially moving on. Congratulations! Let's go! We are halfway to- That was such a relief to get past the first round, but I was like, there's so much more to come. I'm scared. Finding our perfect applicant. This is the interview process, where we get to learn a little bit more about each of you guys. I have to eliminate half of you right now. Complete silence in the room. They are not happy about that. The reason these guys seem a little bit quiet is because we literally shot this video at 2 o'clock in the morning just to make sure it was pitch dark. It 
it was definitely an overnight shoot. Yeah, it was definitely 2 a.m. Best at number one. Hi, my name is Maria. Henry. Morden. Daddy Nico. Simo. Trace. Catherine. Daniel. Yo, I'm Tico. What's up? Your resume said you were god tier at picking up girls. I am not joking. That's actually what this says. What does a picture of you and you have in common? What? I want to pin you both up against my wall. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. This guy's eliminated. Get him out of here. I'm Jessica Shea. Jessica. Yes, sir. Whoa. Oh my god! Every man's face in this room right now is beat red. <laughs> Give me your favorite dance move real quick. <laughs> Do you want the PG dance move? Oh, they made it sound so romantic. That's so funny. Do whatever you want to do, you know? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> POV. I oh my god, watching myself back makes me laugh because I'm like, it's kind of cringe, but it's kind of cute. It's almost like natural for me to kind of flirt when I go into like any spotlight. Somebody who I admire and adore, of course I'm gonna flirt. We're not gonna get into that. Eric is a girlfriend. Open my trunk and there's a dead body in it. I ask you to help me cover up a murder. What do you do? Uh, hey, we're done. I thought this was so funny how it was just dead silent. Bam, the forest. <laughs> I'm the sheriff and I see you holding a dead body in the forest. What are you doing? That was not me. That was Mr. Decker. <laughs> We're sending that body to Mr. Beast and framing him. My favorite part. Framing oh. Mr. Beast. Oh. Eric pulls up with 150 bodies in his trunk. <laughs> Eric walks you into a Walmart super center. The shelves are stocked with 100,000 dead bodies. You pull up to the Grand Canyon. Filled to the brim with 5 million bodies. There are trillions. <laughs> Why do you keep asking about dead bodies? Oh my God! Please, no! I don't care what he oh has God. to say. Did you forget to wear pants? I'm allergic to pants. <laughs> uh, you're moving on. Yes. I love it. Adam. No pants, man. Is Adam? Say the silliest thing you can possibly think of. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Send him to the ranch. Hi, my name is Austin. I'm just gonna not say anything on this one and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, you're going through. This was funny because I felt like there was going to be at least one person that he did this to. <laughs> <laughs> to the 25 of you, congratulations! Slowly but surely, there's all these gifts coming in here from them. I think they're trying to bribe us. We've got a pizza blanket right here. Some of them packed us lunch. Enjoy this lunch from the depths of Seattle. I don't ask for much, but help. A lot of people try to bribe them. John win this battle. John already got eliminated. <laughs> I do like that pizza blanket though. Really? He's been out for hours. Oh no. <laughs> okay, Eric's face, the pure joy of the lunchbox. He's genuinely excited about the lunchbox. Wait, hold on, I got a screenshot. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. Right, Which one was John? Yeah. It's time for the next challenge. This stage of the interview is gonna test your tactility. It's not a word. Tactility? A word. I remember this moment. I seriously thought tactility could have been a word. You made that up 100%. Another word could be strategy. We're gonna be playing a little game called Murder in the Dark. In this room right now, there is one knife. The person who finds this knife first can- Spotlight off. It's on the ground. Oh, it's on the ground. It's on the ground. So right this now we're challenge. seeing who's gonna fight and who's gonna hide. Oh. Oh my, oh my god. god. Bro, they don't work. Oh, they all look so scared. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Oh. Oh. Superman oh, is about no. to end lives oh, instead of save them. Look wow. at him creeping around. Oh, he is so tactile. You made that oh, word up. It's a word. Absolutely. Oh, is he gonna get him? Is he gonna get him? Oh, you're dead. Oh, no. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh my god. What is this crab walk tactic? He's walking towards the knife. He's gonna keep chasing you. If you lose Let's him, you lose him. Initiated. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh, you're oh, done, no. though. You're yeah, done. Dude, he's so dramatic. He's actually killing them. Oh, he's gonna get the guy behind the. Oh no! No! He's dead! He's dead! Oh, he's done. That was kill three. Oh. He's so upset. We really could not see anything in the dark. I promise you. Three, two, 
One. Lights on. There are 15 of you left. Congratulations if you're still here. I felt so Who's the killer? Who's the killer? Was it you? No, I hid in the bathroom. Bro, someone kept chasing me the whole time. He's saying that he didn't do it. Oh my gosh. Where are you hiding? Oh, I kept going around the whole time. He didn't have a cape. I saw the guy's figure 100%. I seriously didn't see a cape, so Timo took his cape off, so I guess that's valid. Who's the most calm out of all of us right now? This guy right here. Sam. The killer would not be calm. Yeah, but you were, you, you, you. Guys, I would be sweating. Dude, they're all trying to find out who the killer was. Nah, nah, this let me, is let me some Nah, nah, this no, guy's no, no. trying to kick me out. This me, they're turning us against each other. Stop. I'm cutting the lights in three, two, one. No, cut the lights. Don't you dare. I hate you. <laughs> For this entire game, we're going to be playing Try Not to Scream. Max is going to be walking around in the warehouse with night vision goggles. And if he makes you scream, one of you will be eliminated. So the next part of this interview is going to test for nerves of steel. So I'm looking for somebody who can really take a lot of stress. So Max out there trying to make people scream because we made a video called If You Scream, You Lose. And in that video, he was very successful at making people ah. scream. So we put him back out there to do the job that he does best. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <gasps> Oh, she didn't scream. Damn, she's I remember this moment like it was just a few minutes ago. I was trying so hard to hold my breath. Oh, I would have screamed for sure. Oh, he's got the siren. Oh, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. <laughs> what? Oh. 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 Oli is going crazy over there. Oh, Oli is trying to kick back. Oh, oh he got someone. R.I.P. Henry. No pants, man. Oh, no. A man that can show up with no pants on doesn't scream. Yeah. Oh, he's going for Alan. He's going for Alan. Oh, no, no, Alan! Oh! Alan swore he didn't scream. He totally oh, did. Oh, my God. No, oh, Teddy! Oh. It's done! Oh, no! That was a scream. Teddy! That was the worst one. Oh, He's curling no. up on the ground. If Back. you guys are wondering what we're all kind of looking for, we were told that there was an immunity card that we had to find or a key. I don't even know. We were looking for something. At this point, don't even think we were looking for anything. We were just getting scared. Caught off guard. Henry, Alan, and Teddy. Only one of you is going to leave right now. All right, I'm out. No, 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 it's not, it's not up to you. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. Fight for it. Come on. I hope that you guys have made friends. Come on. I truly believe if you got this far, don't walk away. I commend him for wanting to give the other guys a chance. You guys have made alliances. I hope you guys have been nice to each other. Because the people who are going to decide who stays right now are your fellow interviewees. This is your opportunity to talk. In this moment, I was literally thinking, Henry and I just talked. And we had a really good talk about music. I think Alan is shy. He's like, you want to go first? your peers and say why uh, you should stay in to get this job. I would love to stay in y'all because I'm just so happy that I've been able to come as far as I have with you two as well as everybody else. I just hope that I've made enough of it. So genuine. Pick me to stay in. I, just, I love you all. That's all I had to say. Alan, why should you stay and uh, have an opportunity to the job? I'd just like to th shout out to my fans, my supporters. Man, he is extremely nervous. I'm there for you guys. I'll be the biggest supporter. Choose wisely. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. You know, if you guys were to tell me that I would be in the top 15 of this thing at the beginning of the day, I don't same, know if I would believe same, you. I same. genuinely thought I was gonna get out first round. <laughs> this oh guy. Oh my gosh, he's so humble. After this whole night with you guys, I'm, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did everything. And if I go... I was about after yelling at him, I was like, fight for it. Go out, it's for noble cause because one of these guys is gonna do a way better job than me. If you guys think that, uh, that I deserve another shot since I uh, scream like a I will not scream like a again. This is what's gonna happen, guys. I'm about to turn the lights off. When the lights turn off, everyone is going to point at who they want to. I pointed at Austin because I was like, can we just get the one that who hasn't said anything out of you? Eliminate. <laughs> it's so bad. Lights are going off in three, two, one, spotlight. Off. This is where evil comes out in the dark. The people five feet- I feel like the way I was standing, it was hard to point at Teddy. It looked like I was pointing at Alan. Are now pointing at them to eliminate them and they don't even know. Oh, dude, this is so That's ruthless. Sick. I think it's the middle guy, Alan. It's looking like Alan's done. Lights on. Oh! Oh! oh. We just- They revealed us. Exposed them. That's dirty, man. Alan, you are eliminated. Oh, I Bro, that was so hard to watch. Oh, they're all hugging him. As if they all didn't just vote him out five seconds ago. Yeah. Like I that was tough. This one makes me uncomfortable. I said true character is shown when the lights turn off. Listen, we came here to fight. Don't walk around. Yeah. Even if you're surprised you didn't leave that. He said true character is when the lights come on. Lights come on. Like, we came here. Don't walk away. So you need to stay. 
Fight for them. Just do it! Make your dreams come true! I'm gonna try to be like, hey, okay? Don't walk away, okay? Teddy made it really far. Half of you guys have handcuffs, half of you guys have keys. Each key only works with one set of handcuffs. And the first four teams to match the correct key to the correct pair of handcuffs moves on to the next round. Based on the competition so far, these teams are made up of people who should not technically get along with each other. Which is why this round is going to test teamwork. Are you guys ready? They're all so tired. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Lights off in three, two, one. I ran. Oh my gosh, they're desperately Sam. trying to find each other. Sam, Sam, do you have give it to me. Oh my God. Hey, hey, Did it work? No. Seema, a hair, hair, hold on. Anyone have a lock? You got it? No, dude, I don't think it's working. You'll have to see you later. Nobody has gotten it yet. Sir, wait, yeah, yeah, who is this? It's Teddy. If you notice, we all ask, who is this? Because like, we had no idea who was in front of us. We're like, just grabbing, we're like, okay. Oh, wow! Right off the bat. That feeling was like, yeah. People that are self reliant versus people that naturally work in teams. Like, some people are just walking around mindlessly. I feel, I swear. Oh, we got another two, we got another two. Who we got, who we got right there? Here we go, here we go. Beautiful teamwork with those two. We got one more team who's gonna make it through. One more, one more. Who's got handcuffs? Who's got handcuffs? I got handcuffs. Oh. They got theirs, okay. Oh my god. Unlock me, unlock me, unlock me here. Oh, yeah, this is the right one. Sam and Olia, we one paired it team. together. Come on, then. No. Oh no! Wait, wait, what? They missed it. They're gonna be this wrong. This is where I could have been out. Please! Come on! I'm out. Oh! They get it? Jessica and no pain. No, they did it! Okay, the team is done. Yeah, it's, over. it's over. Yeah. Those of you who did not find a partner, you have failed to show teamwork, and you were therefore eliminated. Oh, it's brutal. Oh. It's brutal. Oh, man. So close. All right, guys, we're going to go on like a 10-minute break. We're going to turn the house lights on. Hello. Hi. Jessica Shea here. I just had to interrupt real quick. I have something really big to tell you. Now, I know you've been trying to grow your social media presence, trying to learn how to make a thumbnail, trying to get better at storytelling, want to create an unbreakable foundation for your success on social media. Insights you don't find on social media. Real YouTube growth doesn't come from a shout out. How to get fans fast, how to build a brand and make millions from your content. What are you waiting for? Vid Summit. Go on over to vidsummit.com, get your ticket. Space is limited. You're not going to want to miss this. Some of the biggest creators out there. These are the best of the best. Some of my favorite Iraq is gonna be there. It's not just about meeting them. Instead, Vid Summit is where you become an industry insider. Who doesn't want to be an industry insider? I mean, it's not even just about meeting your favorite creators. It's about being an industry insider. Go on over to vidsummit.com and reserve your spot. You're not gonna want to miss out on this event. Space is limited. Don't miss out. I'll see you there, maybe. I'm waiting. Wow. So they think right now that they're just on a casual break and they're just walking around in the light. The first time they've been able to see in a while. But in reality, a competitor is going to come in and test their loyalty. A competitor being Tyler. We were told that we were doing a time lapse. You're a YouTuber, right? Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. The plan for this bit is to have you go out there and offer the job and pay twice as much as me and see if they'll take the job. I'm offering them an opportunity that's fake and then I'm getting them fired for it. Here we go, well, you here can't we go. be fired Tyler for something you were never hired oh, for. Quick. Here it goes. Grant, up to this point, has felt so loyal. I want you to become the best at YouTube, and so anything that I can do to help you reach that goal, that makes me happy. He is actually motivated to become my assistant, but his real loyalty is about to be put to the test. Yeah. Do you watch your videos a lot? Yeah, I, I watch a lot of Eric videos, and I started watching yours. I'm hiring as well. He's my speaking yeah, my language. Eric probably isn't gonna pay that good, I'm gonna be honest. I'll pay you a lot better. You can tell he's nervous about it. Yeah, I can get your contact, bro. That'd be sick. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, no, Grant! You can see the guilt in his eyes, bro. I was just telling him, I'm, I'm also hired. I'm probably paying way more than Eric. I'm always down for new opportunities, so... No! Henry, man, what the frick, bro? Would you be down to work with me? Yeah, I mean, that would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, Eric kind of pays like shit anyway. I'm be honest. I'm looking for producer, Loki. Producer? I'm in. Can I get your number? Yeah. No, bro, I did not expect him to give him his number. Thank you so much. Man. They all were so close to give the number. I'm dead yeah, serious. Like I actually am. I'm super serious. What is up? What's up? Oh, between you and me, I'm also hiring. I'm paying a lot more than Eric. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if I can get this job with Eric, and then we can talk if I don't. <laughs> okay, you sure? I mean, I, I can take your number. He was putting a band-aid on for me. I broke a nail. <laughs> Um, find me after, how about? Because I'm here for this, you know? Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh! I think I'm tunnel vision. I'd be like, no, I'm okay, thank you. Let's go, Jessica! I'm, I'm really, what I was thinking here was 
just like, I feel like I have to explain myself, which I should never have to explain myself, but I'm going to explain myself for you guys. The way I looked at it was, is I knew what I wanted. Let's just say I look tired, tired. My hair is a mess, I look so tired. I was exhausted. Anything else could wait till after, but I needed to know whether or not I was going to be able to make this happen, and I couldn't figure that out unless I tried. And to me, it was like, I know no other opportunity is as important as the main one that you want. Everything else is second to that. And so for me, it was like, I have this goal and I've had this goal obviously prior to this. You know who I am. You can get me later. I want this and I'm, I'm here for this. Yeah, I really wanted a job with Eric. I'm hoping on this, so. Okay, oh, well, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you win. I I'm hoping for it too. Oh, I can't believe that. Jessica is loyal. Are you devoted to winning this? <laughs> yeah. I hope Tyler like actually wants to hire me. I love Tyler. Oh, I feel awful. Dude, I feel, I, I think I just got four people done. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous to tell them what just happened. Oh, there we are. Oh, How are you guys feeling? Feeling great. Lively. Let's go. You may not have realized it, but we actually just finished the next level of the interview. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna ask for the following people to step into the spotlight. Adam. I like the Christmas, like, oh no. <laughs> he thought it was a good he thing. He thinks that was a good thing. Kyle. He's so excited. He said this is not good. Henry, Jessica, oh we just God. finished the level of the interview to test for loyalty. Do you guys have any thoughts around that? <laughs> no thoughts. <laughs> the only person to pass the loyalty test was Jessica. Jessica, you can step out the spotlight. I thought I was going home. I hate you, Tyler. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> because you accepted the job, you are all eliminated. Ooh. Guys, I don't want you guys to think this changes anything. I love <laughs> each of you dearly. You are eliminated though. I literally cried in this moment. I'm so terribly sorry. <laughs> oh, this hurts terribly. Jessica, step into the spotlight. Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. Eric, Eric, Eric. <laughs> The only person to withstand the loyalty test. Tell me about it. I was a fan of yours before him, so I came here and I didn't go through all of that for nothing. <laughs> Not only is Jessica a phenomenal dancer. <laughs> oh, that's so cringe. Oh my God, I was so tired. The editing, they made it so much more awkward. I was delusional. I don't know what the f so sorry. Cause this moment. Oh my god, it's just... All right, we're moving into the next phase of the interview. Let's go. This has been a crazy journey. This is insane. Yes. I feel like I understand their perspective so well because that literally two years ago, that was me. The way that I actually started popping on YouTube was by applying for a job with Logan Paul. I think I had 1,500 subscribers when I did that video and now we're at like 9 million, which is insane. So I have so Ooh. much empathy for these guys. And I'm so proud of them for making it this far. And I'm so excited to like actually give one of them a job. All right, contestants. Step into the circle. Austin, Jessica, Teddy, Christmas. How does it feel to be in the top four? Didn't think Amazing. I'd be here. I expected it. I love this part. When Christmas said, I expected it. I showed up to this interview this day with three resumes. One was a talent resume, one was like a customer service, hospitality. It came with the Logan Paul resume that said resume, and then did I get the job, yes or no? Okay, here we go. I've hidden a key near you guys, and I'm going to give you one box of matches to create light of your own to go find that key. The key is close to you guys. I've made sure of that, okay? Yes, sir. We're gonna begin in three, two, one. Lights off. Ooh, I was running. He said it was closest to you. Why did I immediately run? If this is it here for me, I made it as far as I could. This was so great. I'm so happy. Why don't any of my matches work? So there's actually no key in this room at all. There's no key in the room? Nah. All these matches they're lighting are just useless. Like they're looking for nothing right now. <laughs> that makes them look way dumber. That guy's dragging a match across the floor. So what they don't realize is what I'm saying. So I broke a nail. I was having trouble lighting my matches and I was shaking. The only way to actually like get a match and light one, take them out, get a better grip, get the box, and like light them, throw it, light another one, throw it. And that way they were in my hand and like dispensing quicker. Uh, as soon as I went to dump them into my hand, thinking that the key might be in the box in that moment, I'm willing to bet it's in the bottom of this box. So as I'm still dumping, I'm, I'm feeling around, I'm like, I think that's a key. And then I was like, that is a key. I was like, oh my God, before I could even get my grip on the matches. You know, I, I thought about it and they didn't show this. I thought about it. Cause I was like, there's the spotlight. And he said it was closest to us when we were in the spotlight. like. In Instead of thinking outside the box, let's think inside the box. 
It's close to them. I literally taped a key to the bottom of their matchbox. Each of them have a key in their matchbox right now. It's literally in their hand. And the first two people to find their key move on to the next round. This is a test of wit. Who can think most creatively? Who can think outside the box? By thinking inside the box. No, 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 don't die. That's exactly oh, no. what I was thinking. I'm like, I'm not gonna win this. Come on, please, 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 please. Mine aren't working for some reason. Wait. No way. She found it! Oh my gosh, she did it! <laughs> Wait, where was it? You guys gotta figure it out. <laughs> oh, no way, she's not gonna tell them? Oh my gosh. I love watching this girl outsmart all these guys. It's beautiful. Does anybody need any more matches? Oh, oh my gosh! She's literally- I don't know why I did this, but yeah, why did I do this? I guess I was trying to throw them off. She's like backstabbing them right now. She is savage, She bro. really is. Savage. Is it? Oh, he's looking. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh Austin's gonna get it! Who's gonna get it first? And I feel so bad in this moment right here. Listen. I found it. He said, where was it? And I just walked away and I was like, you gotta figure it out. And Christmas and I were supposed to ride till die. I should have been like, check your box. No! Austin! But then Eric did say, do not tell anyone. Got it! Austin, Austin got it! Let's go! No! Good job. Good job. Top two, Jessica versus Austin. Oh my gosh. It is Jessica versus Austin for the job. Let's turn spotlights on. Those who did not find the key step into the spotlight. I was so close, like by seconds. Out of 100 people, you made it to the top four. I am very proud of you guys for coming this far. Christmas and Teddy. Give us the red light. Let's no, go. No. You are eliminated. Oh, good game. These people, uh, these two that we have right here, are the most- I thought it was gonna be me and Christmas. <laughs> it should've been me and Christmas, I'm so sorry, but love you, Austin, but me and Christmas had a pack where we were gonna make it to the top two, and I was so rude, oh my god, Christmas, I'm so sorry, I love you, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, ugh. It's creative, the most well-spoken, the most loyal people out of this entire competition, and right now, only one of them is going to get the job. Jessica has proven time and time again, fair and square. I feel like the closer you get to the end, the closer you get to the rewards. Leaving at the end without winning is like, much harder than leaving on the first round. Austin was here was because we literally didn't ask him any questions during the interview as a joke. I'm just gonna not say anything on this one and see what happens. <laughs> and after multiple miraculous strokes of luck, he had flown under the radar and progressed all the way to the finals. Austin, I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. I know nothing about you. If you have any question, I'll answer any of them. <laughs> POV, I pull up with a dead body in my trunk. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, it's actually a situation that happens more often than we think. What? <laughs> what? Just call the cleanup crew, man. They know what to do with it. That was the first legit answer I've gotten. What's your favorite dance move? Just uh, go in the club and just kind of vibe to the DJ. I couldn't help but laugh. Get closed, little kiss in the neck. Well, now that I know more about you, I feel like we can proceed into the final round of the interview. Man, you know, let's get some blindfolds on them. So for the last round, on the left-hand side is $10,000 in cash, and on the right is gonna be me standing there. And these two contestants get to choose either me or the money. And we're doing this as a test of greed. Are they here because they're passionate about the job and the opportunity, or are they here because of the money? After 24 hours of being trapped in darkness, 100 applicants- I was so tired, and you know what? They had asked Austin to dance for like a full minute, or five minutes, or something. And he's dancing, and I'm just like, He's not really breaking out dance moves, but he's trying. I'm like, okay. And then they caught the expression, of course. Kins had been whittled down to reveal the two with the best qualities, the greatest loyalty, and the most dedication. Who would cave into greed and who would come to the light and join the era team? I seriously thought this last one was going to be a little bit more physical than it was. Austin and Jessica, welcome to the final round of the interview. You can take your blindfolds off. Let's turn spotlights on. Hey! It's me. How are you? Good. Breaking the fourth wall. How are you? The moment you guys have been given a choice. In front of you, you have me, the job opportunity, or $10,000 in cash. Oh. When I count to three, you'll have to make a decision quickly. Oh my god. You're gonna run to the choice that you make in three, two, one. Oh! I was a running. I feel so proud of you. I've been watching my screen this whole time. How do you feel right now? I'm excited. I didn't think I was going to make it this far, but I'm glad I did. Really? And it's an honor being in your presence. <laughs> the moment I get to
to me, Eric Decker, starstruck. Did I get the job, yes or no? Oh. Congratulations on the job, Ooh, this is the official handshake. So we did it. Thank you. Austin. I was ready to cry. I was a hot mess. $10,000 in cash, what are you gonna do with it? I do not know. <laughs> I look so weird. Oh, Eric's face. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me comments below. I'm gonna be responding to your comments. Jessica Shay. <laughs> Hi, sorry to interrupt. I just needed to take a minute to appreciate Max editing. It is phenomenal. 